Hi everyone, this is Paul from The Outdoor Adventure and today we're going to take a look at Bushnell's PowerSync SolarBook 850 charging system. So the SolarBook is a combination solar panel setup and solar battery pack inside a heavy duty case which is meant to be able to take with you endure a beating and still perform when you need it. As far as profile goes it's about nine and a quarter by eight and a quarter by an inch and a quarter thick. It weighs in at about a pound and a half, one pound eight ounces. Inside you've got the solar panels and on the outside you've got the two USB charging ports which are rated at five volts at one amp and on the other side you have a charging port which allows you to pre-charge the battery before you go out just in case there isn't enough sun and also so you don't have to wait when you need a charge. So let's take a look at the performance and the construction and then see what I think about it. So it looks kind of like a miniature laptop. You've got these two plastic claps that hinge forward and inside you've got this multi-panel, five in fact, for solar charging. Now all of these are on this fabric backing which means that you can fold them back in, shut it and go away. Now on one end you have these two uh, eyelets right here, these, these grommets that you can use for uh, attaching it to a surface to keep it flat and pegged down. Also on the back of this, just close this up, you have two more attachment points so that you can hang it up if you want to again attach it at both ends to keep it stable in case it's windy condition. Now as far as construction the hinge and these clasps right here are excellent and they've held out really well and I've had this thing for well over a year close to two years now. The one downside that I've had with this charger is that these little plastic clips can come off. Now I've really had it happen with just the one side. This doesn't impact performance per se but it is a bit of a downer and maybe I've got the, the uh, a bad model but it is a bit of a disappointment that this was pretty much a problem from day one with this device. Now that's really not as big of an issue as how well it performs. So we'll go through the specs now. The battery is inside this hinge and we haven't been given exactly what the capacity is. It charges from a wall outlet in about six hours and it charges an ideal sun out about three and a half hours. And the limit on the wall charging is of course it's going to charge based on the USB, micro USB port on the side of it. On the ends of the points which hide the charging port and the USB ports, you have these rubber covers which have done really well when I've kept stuff out of them and uh, they haven't come off and they so no signs of real wear. Now on the outside of it you'll see that there's a power button now this power button right here, uh, it serves to check how much uh, charge you have left and uh, right now we're at a low charging point right here. A um, little flashing at the bottom, it'll light up all of them if it's, uh, if it's got a full charge. On this end we've got the two USB ports. Now based on the, the specs that they offer, uh, which is our only indication of what the battery capacity is, they say it charges a GPS or camera about five times, an MP3 player about three times, and a smartphone twice, and a full-size tablet half a time. So you get half a charge out of this before you recharge it. Um, but uh, the real question is, how does it perform now for charging your devices? Nowadays, a lot of high-tech devices are very picky about how they charge, and that can throw you some issues with a solar charger. Uh, the reason for that is you've got a built-in charger inside your camera now on most of these things. They charge over USB or micro USB. The end result is that they're very finicky. They want to have a good solid amount of electricity coming in there. On some solar panels that electrical intake isn't regulated and so what a camera will do like this, it'll say, no, I don't want it and I'm not going to charge. So that can cause you some problems on your high-tech devices makers of the devices have to protect them of course for you and so they may reject any charging by specific devices. So let's see how this performs when testing it out against some of your typical devices that they use it for. Now I've got a four-thirds camera right here. It's got a high capacity battery here that you can charge outside of the camera 
or inside the camera. It comes with charging inside the camera, so we're gonna test it like that with this solar charger. Now one of the benefit of these devices is because they store the charge inside the battery first, they can give you a regulated charging point and therefore should be able to charge your high-tech devices. All right, let's start with the simple one. Let's start with this a simple smartphone. What we have here is the Samsung Galaxy 3. And we're going to put it charged in. Let's see what it tells us. And this device shows up as charging. Okay, so let's move on to this device here. So we've got a, a Sony four thirds camera. I took this on the John Muir Trail. And uh, we're gonna see how well it uh, handles charging off this solar panel. So it's giving me the charge light, which is a good sign. I've had other solar systems that haven't wor worked to charge this because of that uh, unregulated uh, charging system. So charging up, which is so that's good. So we're seeing that charging on a on a camera like this is working just fine. Now, if they're not working, they'll usually give you a funny charge signal, which lets you know that things aren't working. Now, from there, we're going to move on to an iPad Mini. This is the newer iPad Mini, not the latest, but the newer one. So that's a look at the Bushnell SolarBook 850. It's a solid piece of kit. It's built to be tough. It's built to last. It's going to handle your charging of your basic devices, some tablets, your cameras, your GPS's that can be charged over USB. None of the lightweight solar panels that I've looked into and tested have handled the higher end tablets like the iPads. I love the design. I love the dual USB charging. I love how it can handle most of most devices. And uh, the one improvement of course is if they could work out this problem with these little lock clasps when they work they're great. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, down below, your comments. What do you think of Bushnell as a brand? What do you think of the quality of their gear? And what do you think of their solar products? Love to hear your feedback down below. And as always, get out, enjoy yourself, and enjoy your time with your family and friends.